Hi, welcome to my Spring 2019 Educating Exceptional Students Integration and Inclusion presentation. My name is Michelle Stolzenberg. Let's get started. Let the presentation begin. Learning disabilities. Explicit instruction, strategic instruction. Ways to integrate and include students in our classroom with learning disabilities. Types of learning disabilities. 66% of students in regular are in regular class 80 to 100% of the time that have learning disabilities. Communication disorders, speech disorders, language disorders, reception language disorders, expression language disorders, speech and language disorders are also associated with other disorders. Communication disability universal design. Two questions a teacher must ask is, how can I ensure that my student understands what I'm teaching and how can I ensure that my student can express what she knows? Strategies. Students with communication disorders benefit from language facilitation strategies in early childhood, such as before pre-K. This is a stuttering strategy sheet. Another language disability would be a student that English is their second language and they have a hard time understanding, but we can still integrate these students into our classroom by using more pictures as much as possible, by collaborating with the ESL teachers and the SLP teachers and parents and find out what their objectives and goals are. 87% of communication disorder students are in regular classes 80 to 100 percent of the time. Emotional and behavior disorder, otherwise known as EBD. Char many characteristics of students with these disabilities. Although various evaluation measures help teachers and professionals identify these students, few align with or take into account that the description of a five characteristics such as Inability to learn, inability to build or maintain satisfactory relationships, inappropriate behavior, unhappiness or depression, and physical symptoms or fears. Teachers and program strategies for children with EBD. One assistant technology benefit is computers don't interact emotionally with this child. So the child doesn't have to resort to emotional manipulations. Behavior games. Best in class involves behavior, emotional, and social training. Another one is called classroom centered, which involves critical thinking, composition, listening, and comprehension skills. ADHD, defining attention deficit disorder. Although various evaluation measures help teachers and professionals identify these students, the criteria for ADHD must intervene with the developmental or functional and social and academic settings. It's important to consider this because everyone is forgetful or absent-minded at times, or even more active or less active at times. But unless these characteristics are persistent, frequent, and severe, this person does not meet the criteria of being ADHD. Multi-module treatments include components including medication, parent training, behavior oriented treatments, classroom behavior management. There's two different types of symptoms. There's primary inactive types and primary hyperactive and impulsive types. Strategies for ADHD Errorless learning is a teaching procedure in which the student is prompted to make the correct response immediately 
ensuring a correct response each time. The prompt is then slowly faded in order to promote, promote accuracy and the least amount of errors and frustration. Here's a table that gives us some information about ADHD. It's a mental disorder that most occurs in children. 6.4 million American children ages 4 to 17 have been diagnosed. Average age at 7 years old. Typically, the symptoms appear between ages 3 and 6. 6.1% 6 of American children are being treated for ADHD with medication. 42% increase in ADHD diagnosis over the past eight years. We're not gonna watch this video, but if you'd like to, just click on it. Intellectual disability strategies and examples. Prelingual Milly teaching. It's called PMT, and it's an early intervention strategy that helps teach children with intellectual disabilities that do not speak and do not understand how to make these clear gestures and comments to get our attention. So the steps are to have an item that the student is already interested. My example was a book that a child loves and to say, this is your book. Can you say book? And we need to repeatedly verbalize and talk to these children. And then eventually with consistent persistence, they will say book. 49% of intellectually disabled students are in the classroom 0 to 39% of the time. That is not very much. Inclusion strategies. Let's break down the assignment. Let's break down the answers. Let's take the lesson off the page. Let's use guided practice and let's provide an alternate task on that same page. What is Autism Spectrum Disorder? We all know it as autism and it's a disability that significantly impacts communication, verbal and nonverbal, and social interaction. It's usually present before the age of three and most negatively impacts the student's educational performance. The following characteristics frequently are associated with autism, repetitive activities, stereotype movements, resistance to change environmentally and in routines, and differences with sensory stimulation. This book, Superhero Stay Seated, is a social story they are so helpful for, pre for preschoolers and older children with autism. Check them out. Autism in the classroom. Here's some strategies to help these kids. Reduce sensory overload. Provide a structural routine, routine and use a schedule. Build in, build in breaks. And finally, don't sweat the small stuff. Multiple disabilities. Some schools call it severe disabilities or multiple disabilities. Um, you just have to adapt your classroom to meet these needs. Characteristics is difficult to describe because there's so many different characteristics, all these other dif different disabilities. But basically what we have to do is you just have to use your specific knowledge and cater to these specific characteristics related to their intellectual functions and adaptive skills their motor development, sensory functions, and communication skills. Successful inclusion of students with multiple disabilities. Teaching new skills in general education classrooms. Promoting friendships in inclusion settings. Facilitating positive outcomes for classmates without the disabilities. Adapting the student's curriculum. Physical disabilities. Many physical disabilities. A few would be cerebral palsy, spinal bifida, muscular dystrophy, and amputation. Teaching suggestions is to provide modified chairs, plenty of space for their special equipment, ramps, raised tables, glue knobs, secured carpeting, and rugs. Physical disabilities. Classroom inclusions, tips, and in, in universal design strategies. Just a couple Token economy systems use tokens as reinforcement for positive behavior. 
use effective instructional stat strategies. One is to include students with traumatic brain injury in the classroom. Just have them there with you. Traumatic brain injury is some sort of external force has damaged their brain in some way and it has caused a disability in a cognitive level. It may interact with memory, attention, reasoning, abstract thinking, judgment, problem solving, sensory, and others. Traumatic injuries, the most common is falls. 28% of all traumatic brain injuries are caused by falls. Approximately 1.7 million people annually sustain a traumatic brain injury. Hearing loss and deafness. Identifying students with hearing loss, well, the way to do that is usually there is a hearing test involved. Usually there, children with are typically classified as deaf or hard of hearing. Conductive loss is caused by problems in the outer and middle ear. Sensory neuron loss is caused by a problem that is in the inner ear and along the nerve pathway to the brain. Strategies. Intervention for young children with hearing loss includes access to language rich environments. Shared reading real-world and authentic experiences, learning about deafness, and including all the students that have hearing loss in your general education. Be understanding and know what sh sh let the student know what to expect beforehand. Discuss the situation and ensure the other students face her when they're talking so she might lip read. If they have a hearing device or a or an implant, make sure that they are near any speakers they might need to hear. Visual impairment, including blindness. Legal blindness is a measurement used primarily for eligibility for government and private assistance programs. Within education, visual impairment includes blindness is defined as an impairment in vision that adversely affects a student's education performance. Effective instructional strategies, TVIs emphasize teaching parents of young children with visual impairments to think like someone who can't see and teach children to learn hands-on functional skills such as changing clothes, making snacks. Learning these at home will make it easier to transition to the school. Including these students in our classroom, most students with visual impairment are educated for the most part in general education and most of them that have some sight read print. Gift and talented students. Students are creative. They are extremely curious. They get bored easily. They need a challenge. There are so many different types of gifted students. It could be musical, it could be math, it could be literature, it could be, there's so many things. But once they show you what their giftedness is in, you need to be ready to give them something to challenge them. Whether it's great literature or it's more difficult, higher level math, we have to be ready for these exceptional students. The big picture is all these children are special and they deserve the best education we can provide for them. Thank you. My name is Michelle Stolzenberg. And here is my references. Exceptional Lives, Special Education in Today's Schools, 8th edition.